Come on, Becca. Like, we're paying a fortune for these. Like, the least you could do is maybe make the lid a little bit better. My hair is, like, super staticky today, so it's just everywhere. But, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another empties video for you guys and I have this little Sephora bag that I just keep in one of our bathroom closets and every time I use up a product I just throw it in here and then when it's filled I then come on and share with you guys all of the products that I've used up whether it be hair care, skin care, makeup products. Um, and just kind of let you know if there are things that I would recommend, um, things that I personally would repurchase. Um, I've done these for years here on my channel and a lot of you have like, were surprised, like you've never seen videos like these. Um, a lot of like the beauty gurus do them. I'm not a beauty guru by any means, but I just love beauty products and I love sharing with you guys things that I love or things that I think that suck. So, um... I have quite a few things that I'm going to share with you guys today. Like I said, this sucker is filled again, and then I have a few other like bigger items that don't necessarily fill it, fit in this bag. Um, so I want to try to get through this pretty quickly. I feel like my camera's a little like there we go wonky. Um, so yeah, and then I also have like some items that I've used up on our two-year-old son as well because. As a mama, I always love to hear from other people products that they love using or would not recommend for their kids as well. So I'm just going to jump right into this. So the very first thing I'm going to share with you is this Paw Patrol bubble bath. I've shared these with you guys before. Usually we have the Finding Dory one. Um, these have been really hard for me to find lately. I think Walmart still carries them. I used to get them at Target, but we really, really, really love this bubble bath. It has a really nice like clean almost like an apple scent but it's not like sweet apple it's just like a really light like fresh clean apple if that makes sense um you get really good bubbles with it gunner loves it and he's really into paw patrol now so this one was really fun to get this next thing is something that we didn't even use up we honestly just used it the other day and i was like nope this is going because it is horrible so basically they're these little play-doh bath soaps but you just get all of these little containers filled with these play-doh soaps and i tried them a long time ago with gunner he really wasn't into it he was scared of play-doh for a while i think the texture was just kind of weird for him but now he loves play-doh he plays with it all the time so i thought you know what let's try these again i think he'll have a blast playing with play-doh in the bathtub it does nothing. You cannot play with it as Play-Doh. It doesn't even suds up and clean your body. Literally, it just left like globs of gunk all over the tub and it stuck to all of his toys. It was a disaster. So I would not recommend these. And then the next thing I have are these dry bar high top self grip rollers. Sorry, my throat is like really dry. Um, so they look like these and I bought these a long time ago. I feel like Alex Garza mentioned these like years ago i mean i think when her channel had first started i don't i don't know it's been a long time so they're supposed to like be self-gripping so you don't have to clip them in um yeah i did not have i did not have that experience at all um and now they just like sit under my sink gunner plays with them all the time they're like dirty and gross i don't know if you can see all the hair and like fuzz on them because he just he puts them on his arms and he runs around and lets them fall all over the floor but you get six of them you get three of the small ones and then three of the big ones I did not care for them if you were somebody that does like wearing velcro rollers you may like these they just were not for me and I'm sick of them being everywhere and um yeah, I mean, like, they don't even stay in, so I'm tossing them. I'm, I'm over it. I have a couple of hair products, favorite products that I've shared with you guys before. The Tresemme Trade 2 Hairspray. I've talked about this 100,000 million times. I love this hairspray. It's a good, easy, affordable hairspray. It gives me a good, like, nice hold, but it's light. It doesn't make my hair crunchy or sticky or anything like that. And then, you guys, I've shared this with you so many times. It is my absolute favorite, like die hard, can't live without dry shampoo. So this is the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco dry shampoo. They make other scents and I've heard that the other scents are good, but nothing compares 
to this scent. So many of you guys have tried it and you have messaged me and told me how much you love it. You can't live without it now either. It really is like seriously the best dry shampoo, high end, drugstore, whatever. It's like six bucks for this can and it is so good. I can easily go four to five days without washing my hair just from using this stuff. I also have the um, Up and Up 5 Blade razors. I've shared these with you guys before. These are the razors that I use. They come in um, with five in a pack and they're good. I, I mean, they're razors, so I like them. They don't give me razor burn. I don't get cuts with them. They have that like slippery kind of um, moisturizing strip. That's what it's called. Um, so yeah, I like them. And these are like a really good price at Target. And usually if you, have, if you use your Cartwheel app, there's always, almost always, a discount on them whether it's like five to fifteen percent off so I always like using those and then I have the beauty blender and this is honestly not that old but you guys I've never had this experience but do you see that it's mold and I have cleaned it and I like that just grosses me out I cannot put this on my face I cannot put mold on my face like that is the most disgusting thing ever I've never had this happen I've had beauty I've used them for years and years and years I've never had this experience so I don't know if this one is just a dud I don't I don't I don't know what happened but yeah and I honestly like I really haven't been using beauty blenders lately anyways um I've just either been using my fingers or using a makeup brush so I would recommend them though. They do make your makeup go on flawlessly. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I use the shade Light Plus. Oh my gosh. Like I have, I mean, I, I still try to like dig and scrape around the sides and it's just like, okay, tonight it's done. Um, this was for so many years my go-to powder to use. I still really like it um, and I would definitely repurchase it again. But I also have others that I really love as well. So, um, but this is definitely a good one to try. I also have this little guy. This is just a little dolphin, like, hand mitt that we used with Gunner. I get these at the Dollar Tree. Really, really fun to use. He loves using them. We always have the dolphin and the frog. This guy has just been used. He's just, I've washed him and he's just like dingy and gross and he, we have new ones. So I'm getting rid of him. I have a couple of makeup, actually I have more than a couple. I have two of these makeup removing wipes and then this one as well. This one is a travel one. All from Up and Up by Target. These are my favorite makeup removing wipes to use. I have very sensitive skin. These do a really good job of removing my makeup before I actually go in and cleanse my face. Um, they take off my eye makeup. Um, and they're just super gentle. They don't break me out. They don't have like any funky smells or anything like that. This one is a little bit different than that, than the other ones that I use. And I didn't like these. These were a little bit dry and I just feel like they didn't do as good of a job. I don't know if it's because they're in the travel pack. I don't, I don't know, but I didn't care for those as much. Um, and I do know that they make this same version in the bigger packs. So maybe it was just this version. I just... I really like um, this one so there's definitely a difference this is like a grayish like silvery blue and then this one is just the blue and white so I've also used up the origins ginseng refreshing scrub cleanser I do like this scrub it's very um, it's refreshing obviously it's why it's called that it has a really nice like pleasant citrusy scent I really like using this in the morning and it does just like a really good job of just like waking up my face and cleansing it the only thing that I don't like are there are these little like beads and I don't know if you can see them I find that when I use it like I'll find little like beads in my hair my hairline and like they don't rinse away really well and that's kind of a big pet peeve of mine when I'm using like a cleanser I want it to just rinse away cleanly and these don't so yes this is refreshing it's a nice scrub but there are so many other scrubs that I love that are more affordable and that don't leave little beads and scrubbies all over in your hair so um okay I have the number seven beautiful skin foaming cleanser for quite a while probably the last like year or so this has been one of my favorite cleansers it's very hard for me to find now. I used to get it at Target, and I've now switched to a different one that I love even more. But this is a good one. This one is 
affordable. Um, it smells really good. It has a really like nice, clean, fresh scent, and it does a really good job of removing all of your makeup, waterproof makeup as well. Eye makeup, like that's a big, big thing for me. Um, it rinses away clean. It doesn't break out my skin, and it's foaming, so it almost works as a like a cleansing balm. Like it almost just like melts away all of your makeup. It's I really like it if you can find it. Um, the next thing is the number seven protect and perfect intense advanced serum. So many people recommended it. I remember being in the store and this lady came up to me and she was like, Oh my gosh, that is so good. It's the best serum I've ever used. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to get it. All the reviews online are really great. So this makes your skin feel really good. Like it just feels like velvet when you put it on and your makeup goes on really well. But I am looking for something with anti-aging properties and this is supposed to help with that and I didn't see any difference, any change, any improvement, anything with anti-aging. I'm in my late 30s so I definitely need anti-aging products now and this just didn't do anything for me so I wouldn't recommend it but I know a lot of people swear by it so I don't know my mom even uses that but she even said she said that it's changed so maybe it used to be really good but she said she feels like it's not as good as it used to be either so maybe that's why I, I don't know but I was like so many people really love it and I just didn't care for it. Um, deodorant, I use the Dove Dry Spray Invisible. This one has the clear finish. I mean, it's deodorant. I like it. It's good. It's what I use. I also have another one of my dry shampoos that I absolutely love. This is my favorite mascara. It is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's just um, the regular version. I use the Blackest Black, I think is what it's called. I can't read it. <clears throat> Anyways, this is just a really, really good, like, drugstore, affordable mascara. Um, it, like, lifts and makes them full and lengthens them and just makes them look really good. And I don't have to spend a fortune on it because I can get it pretty much anywhere. Toothpaste, I like to use the Crest. This is the 3D white one in the Arctic Fresh. Um, I love this toothpaste, but like it gets nasty all the time. It drives me nuts and I clean it off like all the time. And finally, I'm just like, whatever. It doesn't close and I'm, I mean, ugh, whatever. I also have the L'Oreal Ever Pure Frizz Defy Conditioner. I think I already used the shampoo. Yeah. Cause like, okay. Do you guys go through shampoo before you finish up a bottle of conditioner? Like, I feel like that's just a natural progression with shampoo and conditioner. I don't know, it's so weird. How does that happen? I really don't know. But this is the Fristify conditioner. It has humidity protection, anti-fade, UV filters, natural botanicals. I liked this. It smells really good. I really love the L'Oreal Ever Pure shampoos and conditioners. This wasn't like my favorite for like anti-frizz. I really like the um the Hask keratin protein ones. I've shared those with you guys. But there are other ones in this line that I like a little bit more that do a little bit more than I feel like that one did. But that it's a good one. I would, you know, I would I'd probably get it again. Okay, speaking of, here is the Hask keratin protein. Again, another conditioner bottle. This is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. I started using this after I had Gunner and I was going through all of the postpartum hair stuff that you go through. I still, I still get it. I mean, I have like these little growth hairs coming in. I mean, all around here. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's nuts, but, um, this really helps with it. And, um, yeah, I really like it and it smells good too. My favorite, favorite moisturizer is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I've shared this with you guys a million times. I love the Hydro Boost line from Neutrogena. Like I am using so many products from that line now and I really wanna do a video and just talk about those with you guys. If that's something that you'd wanna see, let me know down below because I'm living for the Hydro Boost line and I'm, I just, I really, I'm loving everything that I'm using from it. So this is a really good moisturizer. I have combo skin. I mean, I just like literally like, it's almost like I licked it clean. I mean, I didn't really lick it, but I mean, I. I got every little bit out of there that I could get. 
Um, it's a really pretty aqua blue color just like the inside of it and I have combo skin so I get super oily in the spring and summer and then I do get a little more dry in the winter and this just does a really good job all year round. It doesn't break me out. I have super sensitive skin and it has hyaluronic acid in it which is so good for hydrating your skin and I just cannot say enough wonderful things about this guy. It's so good. Okay, I've talked about this with you guys. If you didn't, if you have little ones and you didn't see like my favorite products for sick kids, um, this was mentioned. It is the Johnson's uh, Soothing Vapor Bath. I call it Vapor Bath. I don't know. But this is really, really good when you have sick babies, sick toddlers, kids, because um, they can't use a lot of products that we can use as adults. And um, this just has that like menthol scent to it. Oh, it smells so good. So it helps them, especially when they're congested or they have a cold or they have a cough, just kind of helps to open up their airways and their passages and helps them to breathe a little bit better. It loosens up the, you know, the cough that they have going on in their chest. You just pour it in to their bath water and it's very soothing. It comforts them. Um, and you know, it's tear free too. So you can't go wrong with that. So this is so, so, so good. I always make sure that I have this on hand. I have another razor package for you. Um, these are the vitamins that we use with Gunner. His pediatrician approved them. They're supposed to be like the Lil Critters gummy bites, but it's the Kids Multivitamin Gummies Complete by Up and Up. They're just little gummy bears. He loves gummies just like his mama. So gummy vitamins are the way to go for us. And they have vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and then they're just, they're yummy. Like they're really, really good. And he gets two of them. Um, so you just have to make sure that your children are of age. Every time we went to the doctor, they all were, were always asking us, is he taking vitamins? Is he taking vitamins? And so I had asked them at one point, I was like, okay, well, what is he supposed to be taking? And she just said a good multivitamin is fine because he's not deficient in any particular area at this point. Um, and she said that these were totally acceptable. Um, okay, these are fun. I shared these in a favorite bath products video that I did. I will link that here as well. But these are the Mr. Bubbles Magic Bath Crackles. And we call them Pop Rocks because that's essentially what they are. I mean, you can't eat them, but they do what Pop Rocks do. You just pop them in the water and they snap, pop, fizz, kind of like Rice Krispie treats or Rice Krispies. Um, but yeah, they're non-toxic. There's no smell to them. They're just fun. Like your kids are sitting in the bath water and it's like popping at them. So they're just kind of a fun little element to add to the bath. I have another Lash Paradise. I have the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. This is the waterproof mascara that I love to use. I love this mascara. It is so good for waterproof. Oh my goodness. Just really, really good stuff. It's my favorite. And then I have the Soap and Glory Hand Food. I've shared this with you guys so many times. I always have the mini versions of this in, like I always had it in our diaper bag, in my purse, I keep one in my car. I love this stuff. I give these as gifts. They make great stocking stuffers. They make great like hostess gifts, whatever. Um, they're just, it's really good. It's super affordable. You can get them at Ulta and Target now. I used to not be able to like find them everywhere. Um, I think maybe even Walmart carries it now. I'm not sure, but has like a really like yummy scent to it as well. It's not like super sweet. It's like, it's made with marshmallow. So it's gotta be good for you, right? Um, but yeah, this is just one of my favorites. And then I also have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the pressed version and <clears throat> okay. See, like I've, I've used it all, but this is not as good as the loose version. It's supposed to be the same, just pressed, not loose, but it's definitely different. I feel like the shade is a little bit lighter than the loose version, and I just feel like the loose version just does a better job. I do recommend it, just not the pressed one. I would get the loose version. And you can get like little mini ones of that too. So um, if you just like want to try it out because it is kind of pricey for a powder, but it's really, really good. Okay. I have another Lash Paradise. Obviously I like this mascara. The L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush Mascara. 
I used to really love the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and I just feel like it's changed over the years. This just, I don't even think I finished it. Yeah, I didn't. I just, yeah, I didn't like it. Just, it was like really wet. It weighed my lashes down. It didn't do anything for them. I just did not like it. Listen, I very, very, very rarely will use up an entire lip product. Like I really have to like a lip product. I have millions of lip products. Like shamefully, I really need to just go through them again and just toss a bunch of them because I'm sure they're, I have a crap ton that are old. This is my favorite. This is the lip gloss that I wear every single day. It's the Buxom Lip Polish in the shade Sophia. And it's just a really, really pretty sweetheart pink. It's my go-to. I just, I, I love it so much. I love these lip glosses so much. Um, I also have the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier. This is the BB cream. I use the anti-redness one. I love this stuff. I've shared this with you guys a bunch. This is pretty much what I wear on the daily. It's not like it's green. So it's supposed to like do, you know, the whole correction with the redness and all that. It's not like super great with redness. Like if you have major redness going on, ew you're still going to have to use a concealer. This is like very lightweight, but it does do a good job if you have a little bit of redness going on. And this just makes your skin look glowy and pretty and fresh. It's really beautiful all year round. I really love it. It dries almost to like a satiny finish. Um, so yeah, I love that stuff. And then my favorite, this is just like my go-to concealer. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is in the lightest shade, light ivory. This is a really good concealer for $2. I use it every single day, guys. Like, it's really good. <laughs> I love it. You don't need to go super fancy with it. It's very lightweight, which I prefer with having mature skin. Um, I don't want some, something super thick and cakey under my eyes. I want it to just be really light. And, yeah. Um, do I have a white cast going on? I always worry about that. Um, because I did use... A powder that I don't normally like to use when I'm gonna be filming because sometimes it gives me a white cast but hopefully I'm okay this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector this is in the champagne pop this is the Jaclyn Hill one that they did and it's full I didn't really care for it here is the issue that I have with these every single time I get these they crack the lids crack I don't know if you can see it but it just drives me nuts and then it makes a mess and it gets all over so I won't be buying these anytime soon <laughs> I mean they're nice and all and they give you like a really beautiful glow and I would say if you're gonna get one go with the opal but if you're gonna get it I would say maybe try the powdered version instead of the liquid because I, I've used these for years and every I'm not kidding you guys I've had so many of these the lid always cracks but Anyways, that's just my little rant. I also have, this is the, um, the Lancome Seals Booster. So this is the eyelash primer that everybody raves about. I did not like it. I didn't like it. I didn't really feel like it did a whole lot for me. Um, I did use it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would say don't waste your money on it. I didn't really care for it. Um, I also have the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This is just like a sample. I think I got this like 100 points at Sephora. I really like this stuff. I would totally buy this um, in the full size. This was a really, really good one. In fact, I think I'm going to set this on the side so I remember because I do want to buy that. And then, of course, the last thing that I have is my beloved baby lips by maybelline this is in the quenched version this is my go-to chapstick it has an spf of 20 in it i carry these everywhere and i was freaking out for a while because i've been having a really hard time finding these target no longer carries them Ulta no longer carries them walmart no longer carries them my grocery store no longer carries them when i was in michigan my mom was like i've seen them at rite aid and i'm like what Lo and behold, went to Rite Aid and they had all of them. And I was like, ah! I was so excited. So I got me some more and now I know I can go to Rite Aid and get them. So anyways, that is that. Those are all of my empties for you guys. I feel like I had a lot of stuff to share with you. Hopefully I didn't ramble on through this. But um, yeah, if you enjoy these types of videos and you want me to continue sharing them with you or maybe like do some other beauty type videos, let me know. Let me know what types of videos that you would like to see. Leave them in the comments down below. 
Give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new and you enjoy motherhood and lifestyle content. I do upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.